Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to set up your own private Ravencoin pool for solar mining at home. If you think that's something of interest, you're watching the right video. Why am I doing this? Mostly because crypto mining is a hobby of mine and I enjoy working in the, well, I enjoy playing with crypto things and I like trying out new things. Secondly, I quite like the idea that if I go to the trouble to set up everything myself and I strike a solo block, I get to keep the entire reward. I don't have to share it with some other pool. To be able to set up a solo pool, you first have to have a Ravencoin full node. I've done a video on this previously on setting this up on Ubuntu 22.04. I'll leave a link in the description below and I'll have a go at putting a little bubble on the video somewhere that you can click on to go there. So once that's done, we're ready to start setting up, so let's head over to the computer. Okay, so building on the existing Ubuntu 22.04 install we did of Ravencoin, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is enable RPC. So um, you just need to edit your existing raven.conf file. Now I'm calling, uh, I'm going to be editing one called example, which I've sanitized, but your one will just be called raven.conf. And to enable RPC, we add in these three lines, an RPC user, uh, a password, so make sure you choose some random password, and then we enable RPC, but we're only going to allow it from the um, Ubuntu host itself. Once that's done, you need to tell the daemon to uh, restart so it can read its new config, and to try and uh, keep the system nice and secure, we're going to create a new account to run the um, our proxy service under. Um, we're going to just add it to the existing uh, Raven group we used last time and we'll tell it to use bash and um, we're going to create a user called Raven proxy. We're now going to change into that account so we'll do a sudo issue and become the Raven proxy user do most of the config as this user. We're going to use a Python based um, proxy server from GitHub called Ravencoin hyphen stratum hyphen proxy. Um, and uh, all the setup instructions here are based on Windows, but uh, you'll be seeing how we're doing it under Ubuntu. There's not really too many changes. I've already got this set up and running, so you'll be a few errors when I do it. The first thing we're going to do is clone that um, that repository and get it onto the local computer. So I get an error because it's already been cloned, but uh, for you, that'll just simply download it all. Next step is to change into that directory that's been created. And then um, we're going to ask uh, Python to install any system requirements. So I'm just going to use the um, uh, Python 3 with the pip command to do that. Uh, once again, everything's already installed on my machine, so um, nothing to be done here, but you'll see a few things being installed. When you install it for the first time, you're going to get a couple of warnings um, about a, a script normalizer and script base 58 and a little note about adding something to a path, you can uh, just ignore all those warnings. The next step is to give the uh, proxy a little test. So this is going to be all be in the comments below, but we basically uh, run it up and um, you should see it start up and there not being any errors and just run it for maybe 20 seconds or so, then hit control C. Uh, because I've already got one running, I can't start this one to show you. It'll uh, produce an error, but for you, it should just start up without, without issue. Now that we know it works, we'll set it up to run as uh, by systemd on machine boot. So we're just going to type exit and jump back to uh, being our standard user account. And we're going to uh, create a new file under etc. systemd system called uh, rifen-proxy.service. And uh, this will be what's used to start it automatically. Uh, all this will be in the description below, so you don't have to worry about making any notes. You can just copy and paste it from there. But actually, we just create a service called uh, the Ravencoin Stratum Proxy. It runs as our user we created, Raven Proxy, and we just say this is a simple um, service, and um, we just simply run our Python command and um, run it, uh, run the script with all the parameters, and um, and then we save that off. Once you've made those services, we need to tell uh, systemd that there's been a config change to the system daemon. So we just do a, a systemctl daemon reload. And we want our proxy service to run on every boot. So we tell system control to enable the Raven proxy service on boot. And now we can ask it to start our uh, daemon running. Um, hopefully you'll get no errors. Um, if all going good, you should be able to run the uh, status command, systemctl status raven proxy, 
and you want to basically see that it's saying that it's active and running and that it's starting to, uh, you might not see this output here, um, it's because I've got something mining to it already, so you, you might not get any of this output, you, you won't get any of this output here, but what you're basically looking for to see is that it says it's active and running and there's no errors. If there's any errors, you'll need to try and debug them. Um, another, if you are having some errors, you just want to do a general check, you can ask the, use the general CTL command just to get the most recent uh, output from the uh, proxy. Um, so once again, you'd be looking for errors and fixing those. Uh, oh, another useful command you can do is if you are actively mining to it, you can say uh, use minus fu, and what that means is follow this log. What will happen is as uh, the proxy is doing work, you'll see it um, progressing along. Um, this is also where you'll be able to watch it. If, if you have this running and it hits a block, you'll see it reported here as well. The next step is to point your uh, miner or miners at it. So I use miner stat, so I just, just come into the address editor. Say I want to create a new pool, I've called my pool private hyphen raven, and you just point it at the IP address and port being used. Um, it's that simple, and you configure it like you would normally would for mining raven. Just tell miner stat that I want to mine uh, the coin raven. It's going to my private pool, and it's going to the existing wallet I use. And uh, that's it, there's no special config, it'll just simply start mining. Just coming back to that um, journal command again. So once you've got it start mining, you should see the miner um, on its side saying it's running, and then you should be able to run this journal command. And each time the uh, miner checks in, you should see um, some output appearing, things like um, a new block has just appeared on the blockchain. They, they happen, should happen every minute or so. Uh, every now and then you'll see the miner portion of the, um, the hash rate that it's um, working on. Um, you should not expect to see accepted shares. You only ever get an accepted share when you crack a block. So those, um, well, unless you've got a lot of hash power, you won't be seeing those very often. So that's it. That's how you set up your own private Ravencoin uh, solo mining pool. So I hope you found that of interest. I'm gonna leave some other videos around my head. They might be of interest to you as well. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully in a future video we'll be able to celebrate me hitting my first solo block.